Cheapari here. Today we're going to be doing a look at some of the 30th anniversary stuff uh, or just anniversary stuff that's come out in book and comic book form uh, for Sonic the Hedgehog. So um, in terms of right now, as of August 2023, there's a lot of anniversary products that are on sale uh, for Sonic the Hedgehog brand. So um, when I was going online and seeing some of the sales, I thought I was picking up the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, I think it's actually called the Encyclopedia, which is an encyclopedia that contains a bunch of information over the 30 year history of Sonic the Hedgehog. And that's when I purchased this book. Um, and I actually didn't purchase the book off of Amazon. I purchased it at, ID, at IDW directly, which was, it was also on sale. Now, when you purchase this book, as you see here, the deluxe edition uh, off of IDW, you'll, you get the hard copy, uh, of the book, the physical copy, and you also get a digital code. So you can purchase this on Amazon for 15 bucks. I purchase it for about $21 shipped. Um, but again, you get the digital code uh, to be able to download this digitally, and you can also get the, uh, the hard copy as well. So I thought I was getting the encyclopedia. I got something entirely different. Um, what this comes with is a hardcover book uh, but it actually is a comic book, as you can see here. And the art is great. And as you can see here from the internal art and the characters and the interpretation of those characters, it is a mixture of giving you uh, the original Sonic uh, from the original games that came out in the Sega Genesis days, that including Sonic and his original look with the black pupils, uh, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, uh, Metal Sonic, Eggman as he was original and his original look, along with some of the uh, other characters that are mixed in now with the IDW verse that have been created uh, from that comic book line that's currently going on. For the 30th anniversary, uh, there's three separate tales in it, uh, three separate stories, one with uh, Dr. Eggman um, trying to build a more autonomous commander uh, robot of his team that uh, goes rogue. Uh, that character is named Heavy King, and again starts kind of taking over. Um, so it's Sonic battling Heavy King with his friends. There's also a couple of funny stories and different artists and kind of giving life uh, to these stories where Sonic is learning how to drive. It's a more uh, funny storyline, not meant to be uh, much thought, just kind of it being fun overall. And then the last comic is just really... Um, uh, the um, Sonic team kind of drawing their own comic books and kind of retelling stories uh, as their point of view. So uh, pretty neat guys nonetheless. Uh, uh, comic yeah. book favorite Ian Flynn um, is the writer for this. Ian Flynn has been writing these comics as like the main writer for years now. He started out in Archie and a very interesting story which takes me to this comic as well. Uh, but this is the 30th anniversary. This is the 25th anniversary uh, comic book uh, for Sonic that had similar uh, type aspirations in terms of uh, kind of giving you some of those retellings of the original Sega Genesis games. As you can see there, you have much of those um, beloved characters as they're represented in the original games. Actually have the artists, uh, the cover artist on there, uh, their, uh, their signature. But um, similar type of uh, situation, uh, they were doing almost like a retelling of the video games, but combining it with the universe of uh, the games, uh, sorry, of the, of the comic book verse. So, um, so both of these have similar aspirations, but uh, the history of the, of the comics in general is a lot more complex. So um, back when I was a kid picking up Sonic, this was, uh, the Sonic brand, at least in the U.S., was uh, published by Archie. Archie, uh, one of the primary writers, was Ken Penders. Uh, and he wrote a great number of stories back in the 90s for 100-plus issues. But um, when they hired these writers, they were not, uh, f so to speak, for hire. Um, they, the writers had very little legal uh, limitations um, uh, Objection! stopping them from being able to copyright a, a, a number of the characters that they were creating. So let's say the writer decided to create Tails' as parents or Sonic's parents or Knuckles' as parents or, you know, uh, any echidna that's not Knuckles. 
Um, so Ken Petters started copywriting all these characters that were extensions of this universe. So he had legal ownership of uh, practically extensions of the Sonic verse that he himself owned that he'd have to be paid if people are trying to use those characters or try to use similarities. Like let's say they want to use an echidna that was not just Knuckles, they'd have to pay Ken Penders. So it was this huge legal uh, uh, rigmarole that happened in the 2000s. Um, and because of that, uh, because of the failures of Archie and their legal team, um, uh, Sonic was in the midst of trying to, uh, 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 that Archie comic line was trying to uh, kind of cover that up and try to uh, go more towards, away from the Ken Penders uh, writing, go more into uh, the video game verse, uh, implementing more video game elements back into the Archie universe. But uh, it stopped short. So this was in the 25th anniversary. It's called Sonic Meg Mega Drive. It actually never finished because uh, Sega pulled away those rights from Archie and gave them over to IDW. But smartly, um, the one of the more newer writers that uh, was doing well in Archie, Ian Flynn, continued from that um, uh, from that company, left Archie, and went over to IDW, and has been doing good things. Uh, so that does it for me, guys. Uh, if you're going to pick this up, again, it's uh, about 15 bucks right now on Amazon. Um, that's just getting you the hard copy book. It's going to be cheaper if it's digital. Um, and if you pick it up at IDW, it's going to ship in a very uh, pristine package. Uh, the book is going to be protected and it's going to come with the digital code and the, uh, the hard copy of the book. And that runs about 21 bucks shipped. So that does it for me, guys. Like and subscribe. I'll do some more. Uh, um, videos on Sonic uh, before the summer is up. Uh, but with that, like and subscribe, guys, and gotta go fast. <laughs>